Princeton is shifting over to volleyball, a school there that has had its fair share of success on the Colonial League front this season, the Southern Lehigh Spartans. Now, their season got off to a bit of a rough start. They lost six of their first seven sets on the year, then got into league play and absolutely dominated. No Have not no. lost a set since September the 10th, 10-0 in league play and looking to wrap up a Colonial League championship yesterday against Notre Dame. And our Cassie Schmidt was there and has the highlights. In the Colonial League's fifth ever championship match, it was the number one seeded and defending champ Spartans of Southern Lehigh taking on the number two seed Notre Dame Green Pond. Set one would be back and forth in the beginning, but the Spartans would make some key tips at the net, five of them to be exact. Janessa Serrard and Mackenzie fight, each finding the open spots on the court, and then a kill from Courtney Kylish would put them up 15 to 12. From there, they would roll past the Crusaders, finishing set one off in a 10 to three point run fashion, the final 25 to 15. Another slow start from Southern Lehigh in set two as Notre Dame would jump out to a four to one lead, but with a few unforced errors, the Spartans would be right back in it. And once their energy picked up, it was hard to stop it. They would go up 19 to 11 after back to back scores, one from Brianna West and one from Kate Miller, and they'd seal the deal after a bad Crusaders service, and they'd take set two, 25 to 16. Set three, a dominant performance from the Spartans. They would go up as much as 18 to five, starting with a Serrard kill to make it four to one Southern Lehigh. She would contribute three aces and three kills in this set alone, and here comes yet another run. This one, a 14 to four point run, and it'll end in a kill from Courtney Kylish, just four earned points from the Crusaders and an ace from Serrard would end it. 25 to 10 the final, and just like that, Southern Lehigh will be back-to-back -back Colonial League champions. It feels great. I mean, they knew all along this was our goal, one, our first goal. I mean, we had to come out and show in the league that we were the best team, and then in this game is all that matters. I mean, we have played uh, Notre Dame three times this year, beat them three times. I mean, if we lose one, it, it ruins all the other three. So they came out. They were very pumped up today. I mean, singing and, and dancing on the bus, a lot of energy. They, they really wanted to be here. So I mean, it was a nice win. And they came out a little flat, and uh, Notre Dame came out and was playing tough. And then, I mean, then our girls just started getting in a rhythm. And, I mean, they're tough to beat when they're in a rhythm. I feel like in all the three sets, we started off really slowly. Like, but you could like you could definitely tell we started off slowly. But then we came together as a team, and we really, like, ended as a team. While it was a battle between the top two seeds in the Colonial League, Southern Lehigh proved why they were the number one. Easily handling Notre Dame Green Pond and sweeping them in three sets to claim their title as two-time Colonial League champion. It's pride. I mean, we want to be the best team in Colonial League. And now we want to go forward and play and uh, see what see what we can do in districts. On the scene at Catasauqua, I'm Cassie Schmidt for Two Sports. So congratulations to the Spartans of Southern Lehigh Colonial League champs. They will move on to district play now. The 3A tournament where the Spartans will participate getting underway next Wednesday, October 24th. Meanwhile, Notre Dame Green Palm will participate in the 2A classification. That gets underway on Tuesday. How about sweeping all of their opponents? after the first two matches of the yeah, season. I'd say that's pretty good. Feeling yeah. pretty good, riding some momentum <laughs> yeah, I mean, in the postseason. That's confidence good time. Right there. <laughs> All right, well, we